What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we do have some new buzzer beater content. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated because we are on the road to 12K. Um, we're doing MT giveaways all the time. Once we do a 12K, we are going to do a 150,000 MT giveaway. And yes, guys, we are on the road to Larry Bird. We've been grinding really hard. We got the new buzzer beater content. Also, we are selling MT on Xbox or PS4. Hit me up. Today, we do have this buzzer beater content. We're going to pop like two of these packs. Um, Jalen Rose, point guard, shooting guard. We got Jerry Stackhouse. And then we're going to get into some market talk. These packs are probably not going to be good, but you know what? It's worth the try. I have had some luck off these buzzer beaters. I pulled uh, Mitch Richmond, I think. I don't know. I pulled a couple obos out of buzzer beater packs. Um, honestly, you know what? Prime, prime packs, the 10,500 packs of all types have been treating me well. Um, but let's see what we get in here. Yeah, that's figured. So we're going to end off on two packs. And now we're going to get into some market because I know you guys love MT making methods. Yes, I got to get my MT up. We got JR Smith Evo and stuff. He has a ton of assists. I'm trying to get the Evos out. But uh, yeah, we got to now get the 100 steals with Lance, which indeed you could easily do it if you do do the Evo glitch. If you didn't check out my video, make sure to go check it out. It's pretty much just boosting on TTO. It's a very good method to get these Evos done. Let's see if anybody even got these done because... Damn, uh, the Evo for Lance is super hard. This card's going to go for a million, and at least a mil, bro. That Evo is stupid hard. We got the Galaxy Opal JR Smith. I'm probably, I, I'm going to try to Evo them out. It's probably not even possible, man. It's going to be insanely hard. But uh, yeah, Lance Clay. So let's go over the market, man. We did just get buzzer beaters. We got some fire content yesterday. Oscar Robertson for 180, man. I wish I had the MT for that. That is stupid cheap. The market's crash, man. Galaxy Oval Bird with 100k. There's a huge market crash going on. We're going to show you some MT making methods to make that deadly. Um, Wow, man. The market is crashed, crashed, crashed. Um, Let's check out the prime players because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for some prime cheese to make some MT and whatnot. So let's take a look. We got Kawhi at 490. Let's check out Paul George. Paul George is actually down a lot. He was at 650 not too long ago, probably two days ago. Luka's around the same value, and Lamar Odom is around the same value as well. So if I were you, man, I would try to regulate Kawhi's price. If you could get a hold of Kawhi for like 450 and under, that's a huge W. Because, yeah, this card is still, he's going to be one of the best small forwards in the game. He has 99 defense, 99 offense. He's stacked. He has 51 Hall of Fame baddies, bro. It's Kawhi Leonard, man. He's just insane, and I really want to get this card. I'm probably going to get him today, sell a couple things, but uh, yeah, make sure you guys do end up getting one of these prime cards because you gotta. these cards are going to go up in value once the set drops. I just pray to God that this mystery player is someone very OP, and the card, the app, that's it. The mystery player has got to be OP. That's how we're going to make easy money, easy MT. So also, if you guys want to complete the Kareem, I'd rather you guys do the prime because if you think about it, in the prime, man, they have a shooting guard, they have a point guard, a small forward, and a power forward. Next is a center, in my opinion. I think they're due for a center who, maybe Bill Russell, and then the mystery players all position Giannis. That's my guesses. But yo, we got some new content, so we're going to go over some snipe tips and whatnot. We got the Vince Carter Pink Diamond. So what you guys should be doing right now is probably hopping over to Buzzer Beater Pink Diamond. These cards should be popping off like crazy. Um... Yeah, man, I would probably buy out Sam Cassell. He kind of does ruin out the filter. But, man, B-Roy, Sam Cassell, Dale Ellis, they're all going for stupid cheap, and they're still very, very good cards. We're going to check out Vince Carter's price. You could honestly just snipe out Vince Carter's if you want. 
But then again, man, these packs don't really have too much oomph in them, bro. These packs are kind of trash. So it's completely up to you, man. Um, Vince Carter, he has no gold. I mean, he does no Hall of Fame quick draw either. So it's kind of trash. This Vince Carter is going for a lot of MT. If you want, you can probably snipe him out a couple times. So what is he going for? 60,000 MT for this trash can Vince Carter that has no good stats. So 60K MT, you could probably get him a couple times for like 50K. I would pay attention to his price throughout the day. You could probably snipe a lot of them for cheap. And now there goes my auction block, man. This game is so trash, man. All right, here we go. Okay, so Vince Carter's not bad. Who's the other diamond? Hassan Whiteside, which in my opinion, they should give at least a pink diamond because, dude, Hassan Whiteside has literally one of the best games in history as a center, man. He has a couple 10 block triple doubles. That's like unheard of, bro. And I still don't understand how this man does not get that much credit in the NBA. I think he's one of the most underrated centers in the game. He's very talented. He works hard, bro, and honestly, bro, I think he's going to be a good snipe. I think he, he has to have a 99 block, right? He has to have a 99 block. He has a 97 block. That's just disrespect. I think they're going to come out with a pink diamond Hassan sooner or later, man. Hassan Whiteside, first off, he's a he's jokes as hell. And second off, bro, he just deserves so much more credit than what he gets in NBA history, man. He has a couple, I think two or three triple doubles with 10 blocks. Like, who does that? Nobody does that. He is the SWAT god. But yeah, there's another empty making method, but instead of just fishing for that Vince Carter, I'm going to say Pink Diamond Method, man. I'm just going to continue to throw this method down your throat. It's one of the best methods in the game. The Pink Diamond filter pops up way, way too much. Also, the heat check filter, 600 filter. Pink Diamond filter, man, if you invested in some Nate Robinsons, it turned out pretty, pretty well. Um, He's up about 1,000 MT so far. But yeah, man, um, probably should enable out Jared Dudley and whatnot because they do kind of ruin the filter for 5,000 MT. But there's going to be a lot of movement within these filters, man. You're going to see a ton of movement, a ton of snipes. You have a ton of pink diamonds that are very expensive. A lot of pink diamonds that are very expensive. So yeah, um, let's keep seeing what we can get in this filter. So overall, what should you guys do? Should you sell your cards and whatnot? Wow, mellows down a lot. Wow, okay. So, should you guys sell your cards? That is the big issue I've been seeing. What do you? What do I do, Bugs? Do I sell my cards now? Do I keep them? What do I do? Well, here's what you do, man. You simply look up their prices and you think about... So, it's simple, man. Honestly, from here on out, everything's going to continue to crash no matter what. Eddie Curry was at 90. Do you sell your cards, man? Grind out some Larry Bird solos and whatnot because you're just going to see the market continuously crash. That's all it's really going to be from here on out, man. It's not going to be anything else. It's just going to be crash, 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 crash. And honestly, as you guys can see, man, the market is crashed as it is. So continue to grind. You will see the market crash. Is it a good day to sell? Probably considering the fact that something scary is going to pop up tomorrow or Friday. Some crazy, crazy content. And honestly, bro, Giannis dropped a lot. These decade super packs did everybody dirty. There's still goat MJ in here. I want to pop them so bad, but I know me, myself, and I, I have no luck. And also, bro, the VC deals at this stage and ever, bro, are just so trash. I'm not dropping a hundred bucks on this game to get some doo-doo opal. That's how I feel, man. Also, TTO, TTO boards need to be fixed really badly. They're terrible. Maybe there'll be some new uh, TTO methods over here, but right now there's nothing. And this game is really going downhill, man. I'm telling you right now, stuff, everything, almost everything in the game is just not going anybody's way. Like, I don't know. I just really feel like this game is dying out. Tracy McGrady is going for a mill. There's just pricing everywhere. And the pricing, in my opinion, that's all we really do have for the video um we're gonna have some more content later hopefully a nice little locker code we did get marcus Saul and paul pierce i've been grinding a little bit um but yeah that's really all we got for the video man i hope you guys did enjoy stay tuned for more content because you know we post two to five vids a day have a good one guys peace